What Howard Fuller does is he looks for opportunities to educate people. What he often says is we should be talking to as many people as possible. And so if there's a venue, if there's an opportunity, he'll go, he'll be there. When you talk about freedom, freedom is really uh, an issue of your ability to make choices. My goal is to see an America where uh, poor parents really do have the capacity to exercise freedom, the type of freedom that those of us with money exercise every day. He is the most unselfish man that I think any of us know in this whole crusade, because if you call him, he will help. I do think that choice creates the condition for the change to occur. And then you have to have internal mechanisms within the existing system that recognize the importance of making change in order to, to now be involved in a totally different system. So instead of talking about a school system, we'll be talking about a system of schools. If we have choice in the mix of strategies that we have in America, that it will be a very important leverage, you know, for change. We have to be resolute in m making our fight uh, one that everyone understands that we intend to continue. As we fight in Milwaukee, we think it's important that other communities begin to fight as well, so that it becomes not just one isolated place, but that this begins to take place uh, in, in other parts of the country. We all come from the system the way it has always been, and so our assumption is that this is the way that it has to be. What I'm saying is no, this does not have to be the way it is. We can change the way it is. We must change the way it is because the current way of operating is failing far too many kids. What we believe is that you have excellent schools in MPS. There's some schools that are not excellent. We, we have schools that are charter schools that are not as good as they're going to be, and choice schools are not as good as they're going to be. We won't be able to determine the maximum impact of this until a few more years you know, down the road. But if you talk to individual kids, like the kids I was talking to today, they all have stories about how being at this type of school has given them incentive that they did not have before. And that's the kind of thing that keeps driving me, because I know that we simply cannot afford to lose a single child.